hello friends uh, today I am going to show you uh, how to reset your administrative password in uh, VCDL if you forget the VCDL uh, and I little bit sorry uh, the here is so noisy uh, in Kolkata so so uh, let's come to the point many user uh, asks me that I have forgotten my password administrative password in the VCDL graphical user interface basically that one and or might be the IT person is not available how to you know create the campaign or user how to create the user because you I don't have any password in administrator so uh, let's begin how to do that one so there is a lot of process I will uh, show you one by one so here is my URL of the VC dial let's enter and I am giving the username you know the by default this is the uh, four times six is the administrative uh, username and I forget it the password so here is the prompt and it will be prompt again and again so let's uh, do the resetting part open your putty and uh, log into your VC dial after that you have to put the command my SQL u root and password so I hope you know the MySQL uh, root password because it has to be set uh, so just enter it after putting the password now uh, the first thing I have already wrote it because you know sometime you might be forget it what I am typing so that is the reason uh, I am putting it to the notepad you can check it uh, you know pause it the video and just put it the command so this one basically use for the go auto dial section in the go auto dial section you can find the user as a admin where the VC dial is by default four times six so if you are using GoTodel use this command if you are using VC dial use this command so let's select it this one and just okay so I have to uh, change my database to asterisk so he, this is this is the uh, database name you, okay so I have entered into the asterisk database now I'm just going to uh, put the command and hit enter you can find something not related to you there is a lot of information there but see here is the one thing is this is the line where you can find it so here is the my password so let's copy it let's try it's working or not yes it's working okay so this is the method uh, method where you can find uh, the password now I'm going to show you one more thing how to change the password also from the backends if any user is there you can choose this one And it will reset the whole uh, user if the user level is one this one is the command so I don't have any user right now in my VC dial so I'm not putting this one let's you know, find out uh, the the main thing the administrative password because if you change the administrative password you can do anything via graphical user interface so let's try one more commands so I'm going to change the password for five so that's mean uh, my password was the previous one password one two three now I'm going to change the password my password uh, one two three four five so how to do that one let's copy it and paste it okay now again let's uh, check in the backends what is the password now at present ok 
okay so i did it wrong a little bit see uh, what is the parameter basically told this is the password and this is the phone password so i don't have to change the phone password i am going to change the the user password so let's uh, delete it and again put it by mistake i have done it but uh, you know uh, i am explaining that one what i have already done it the wrong thing okay so go to here and change the password okay now let's see the password has changed or not at that time that was yes so it's changed so let's go to the browser user see it's asked for the password because i have changed it so let's put the password one two three four five yes it's open and even you can check here also so here's the password upgradation this is the uh, one of the methodology to change the password from the backends this is not the least one let's change again with a different command so what here it says here is the user level see the user level is this see, this one is user level so admin basically the nine privilege in the user level so that is the reason i have put the user level nine and one more thing by the username see there is a lot of companies there where it administrator four or five it's always suggest to you so uh, take a name of the it people and create a username with the, with uh, their specific name you know it's a help to find out the logs also who changed the campaign who have changed the parameter or logged in even you know it, this is a basically for the security reason so i am putting this one let's change the password something 55 five. Five. and go to the putty okay so here is the password i have changed it so if i am going to click anywhere i hope it ask for the username and the password and what i, I have to put the password so here is the thing even if you were already change the administrative password you can do anything from the user level right so you don't have to change the user normal user password from the backends it's always suggest change the password of the administrator if you have forget it on so these are the basically the commands to change the password so thank you for the watching my video please subscribe us tell us what kind of video you need to your operation uh, obviously i will help you and thank you thank you once again